Welcome back to Done With Depression. Today I am going to be switching out the stereo and speakers in the van that I just bought, the 97 Ford Aerostar. So I went to the flea market and I got a Kenwood deck. Um, it has uh, aux port and USB which uh, is mostly what I wanted just so I can plug my phone in and do that sort of thing. I got some Rockford Fosgate 6x9s. Um, they're three-way speakers, so I don't have any other speakers in it right now. So the three-way should help me get a full range. And then I got these 6x9 um, boxes here and I'm going to put the Fosgates in here. I'll probably need a drill or screwdriver and we'll go from there. So here we're gonna unbox the Fosgates and Looks like they came with some wires here. So we'll touch those in a minute. And here they are. Some screws. So here's our speaker here, four screws to install it, and the faceplate. So if we look at the back here, it has these two guys here, which are going to attach on here. And then this wire underneath is going to just run to our box here. All right, so I just snipped uh, this wire here because I don't need this whole thing to go through. This is mostly if you don't have a box and you're running it in uh, the back of your car and then you're trying to run it up to the front. So I just snipped that guy there and I connected these. So the all black is the black wire and the striped wire is the red wire. And then I'm just gonna connect these here and then I'll mount them in the box. So before I actually connect the wire and install it, I want to place my speaker here and mark my holes and then I'm going to drill that out and you want to do that before because once this is connected you'll only have so much space to move the speaker and so if I mark my holes now it'll be a lot easier uh, in a couple minutes. Alright so I have my speaker box here with my wires and I have my speaker with my wires and my butt connectors and we're just going to connect these. So I'm going to take my black wire, black wire, ideally you want to have a wire stripper but I don't have one so Then you're going to crimp it, pull it and make sure it's all good. So I'm just twisting them together so that you get a good connection. And then putting the butt connector on and crimping it down. And then checking the crimp 
to make sure that the wires aren't gonna come out. So I drilled my holes already and I wanna put the cover on as well. So I'm just gonna screw it in. And you don't wanna screw it all the way down. You want to work your way around. Make sure that you get it in the hole. And then work your way around until it's nice and tight. And then you can really tighten it down. So you can see on the bottom of the speaker here, we have a port and you have your positive and negative, which is already connected um, on the inside. So once we get the whole system wired up, we can just port these right in and they'll be good to go. So my van is probably pretty unique, but there are no speakers in the door. So the only speakers that were in this van were two in the very back. And because I'm gonna have somewhere to sleep in there and possibly some cabinets and stuff, I didn't want the speakers where they were located. So I'm gonna have to go onto the inside and rewire my speakers up to the front so I can put them in between the seats like I want. So I have my wires back here and the original speakers were connected right here. So if I put a cabinet or I put walling over this, you wouldn't be able to hear the speakers. Plus they're like 22 years old. So if you don't know what the colors mean, you're gonna need to look up your um, wiring diagram. But I looked mine up and I know that my orange wire is negative. So the wire that I clipped from before, I'm gonna wire up here. And you're just gonna wire it the same way, twisting it, putting the connector on. And clamping it. Check your clamp. And then do your other one. And this way I can now run my wire up to the front and I'll be able to place the speakers where I want instead of having them stuck back here where they're gonna be covered up and you won't be able to hear them. Okay, so now I have all this extra wire here and I'm gonna feed it through and tape it off and run it up to in between the two front seats. All right, so it's a little bit hard to see, but my wire is over here. I fed it up through this part here, down to here, and then under the footing down here, which I'll show you next. I fed it under the step here and then it came out over here and I'm gonna feed it under this step and then to the center in between my seats. You can get as creative as you want. I wanted mine to look pretty clean, especially since it's gonna be aftermarket and I'm changing the location of the speakers. But I mean, you could have just ran it straight ac across the floor if you wanted. I could have gone completely under the floor, but I didn't wanna take that out. Um, it would have been a longer process. So I just went under the little step here I'm gonna go under this one and it's only about maybe nine screws altogether. so to get the panel off you have to take off these three screws down here and take this panel off before you can get the speaker panel off
All right, so after we take the side panel off here under the steering wheel, you pull this out and there should be a bolt back here. And it's right here and there's one right here. On mine, the one on the right's already taken off, but there should be one here and here. And then this should be able to pop off. Just like that. And there's wires here connected to the cigarette lighter. And so I'm gonna detach that and then we will be able to get to the stereo. So I'm gonna remove the radio now and I bought this DT1 DIN removal tool. And essentially it has little grippers on it and you stick it in the holes here and it makes it easier to pull the stereo out. I've seen people do it with coat hangers, but I usually don't have very much luck trying to just rig it. So I got these, I think they were under five bucks and I didn't really have to mess with it. So I'm gonna pull the radio out and then we're gonna detach it and try and get the new radio in. Right, so here's the old radio, hookups on the back and we're gonna see if it'll directly connect to the other one. If not, I have a harness that we can use. Right, so I have the Kenwood stereo receiver, has USB and aux cord, and we're gonna open it up. So here's one of the harnesses that we'll need. Here's the receiver with the removable plate. And here's the back. So we're not gonna need all the hookups that we had on the other one. So we're gonna have to see where this is gonna connect to. So we have our two harnesses here and I got this adapter and it's for 1986 to 97 Ford. And essentially we're just gonna take the adapter plug it on here and I'm going to take the other adapter, plug it on here and then I'm going to connect these wires to the wires that are on the new stereo and hopefully it'll work. All right, so we got the wires all connected here and I put the adapters on. This one's gonna go to the back of the stereo, but first we wanna get all this stuff pushed back in. And you wanna be careful to keep your power cord out because that's still not connected yet. So you can push everything else back in. And then we're gonna put the cords through here and the whole stereo will come back on. All right, so you have to take this off the back of your head unit here and it keeps it from being stolen or pulled out. So you wanna feed your wires through and then I'm gonna put this part back on and then we can actually place the stereo in there and it'll connect to this piece and to the wires and it should be all good to go. All right, so we got the inside thing in here and there's little tabs on the side so you wanna make sure that those tabs are grabbing on to the inside of the dash. So when you put the stereo in, it doesn't push backwards. So we got it all connected up here and we're gonna put it in and hope for the best. And there we go. So we have our face plate here Kenwood and that just snaps on and that's our new stereo. We just have to put the speakers 
connect the speakers and put this panel back on and we'll be good to go. Customer cash plus 2500 Kona, 3250 Tucson, or 2007.